Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in McDonough, Georgia, with Georgia Transparency and his lady, Lana, as they, well, cause enough trouble to end up shutting down the local post office. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy laughing at these two idiots. That's only one, 150. Rental books. I've got a prediction that they're going to go looking for poster seven because they think that it's going to support their claims when it has never supported their claims ever because they misread it all the damn time. They only read the first part of the paragraph, but hell, let's continue on to the part where it starts to get interesting because most of this video is dead air anyway. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, no, yeah, y'all are recording. Y'all are? Yeah, y'all are recording? Yeah, you can't record it. We can't? No, no, no. no. Oh, I oh. Recording. Oh, it's, it's cool, y'all are recording. Stop, oh, my God, Okay. So they're opening the door now. Yeah, I'm going to got some shots back there. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. It's always tough to get them to open that door to get some shots back there. Did he just tell us he was recording? He's calling the cops, no, he said he was recording. They, they were yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Y'all can't be in here. Y'all gotta leave. I'm sorry? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, I, we, we, are we, the police? Well, first to me. I mean, well, unless you, you have any who? authority here? Again, y'all can't have cameras in here. Okay. They're recording. Hey, what's your name? No, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. What's your name? Talk. For those of you who don't know, who for those of you who uh, are fairly new to frauditing, this is Lana. She is an all-out conspiracy theorist and flat earther. That's right, she's a flat earther as well. So that gives us a general idea of the kind of people we are dealing with. Now, good old Rusty Boy here, who is the cameraman at this point, well, pretty much a conspiracy theorist himself and uh, used to be a private investigator until he got fired from that job. I mean, that's a whole other story right there. But let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, okay. Oh, because you cannot bring cameras in. Oh, are the police on the way? Can yeah. Okay. You can't bring cameras in. It says it, it says it different here, though. You cannot bring cameras in. No, but if you, you look. Now, can I show you something? You can't record any of these people. In. Oh. But, but what about you recording? And you still recording. No, but what about you? But what about you? But what about you recording? I know, but what about it's your federal cameras? Federal but what about your cameras? Rules. This is federal property. No, your rules are actually right there. Yeah, your rules, right there. Yeah, your rules are there. I your rules are right there. It says I don't, you can show you get part? authorization for any of these people. I did. I did. did you? Well, I don't did, follow. Did I don't. Actually, you want me to show you my authorization? It's right there to the U.S. Constitution. That's that's what. Well, I don't follow rules. I follow laws. Well, uh, Rusty Boy, uh, you forced me to bring out that old clip of Ass Elmo uh, cherry-picking uh, Poster 7, so allow me to bring it out once again. I mean, I gotta get the dust off of it, but here we go. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph 
for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Boy, I really need to update that uh, clip with my current uh, graphics that I use. I mean, it, uh, but it gets the point across, I guess. So let's continue on, shall we? We can't do it. Okay. We can't. And how many times are you going to say it? Alright, well, okay. <laughs> you can So y'all can sit out here. They're going to arrest us? Oh, okay. no. Alright, so I said, I gave y'all. But you still have to identify yourself, so I have no idea. If you I don't know who you are. are. I just told you my name. Yeah. I told Mike. you my name. Mike. Mike. Okay, I'm Mike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My name's okay. Cletus. I don't know your name's Mike. Yeah. Mike. You have know a bag right there. Why don't you show it to me real quick? Oh, I've already got that. I've already got the permission from the uh, owners of the building. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, I'm not in here recording people. I'm in here documenting the government building. I guess these two idiots just can't bother to do a simple search on the internet for uh, this kind of thing. Because you know what? The post office isn't exactly government funded anymore. I'm mean, sure they received a bailout a number of years ago, but they haven't been government funded in decades. In fact, they get uh, they are pretty much self-funded these days, you bloody morons. Meaning a lot of the revenue that they get comes from the stuff they sell. And uh, it's pretty much treated like a business these days. So uh, you need to really, really do your research. Many, many minutes later. Well, we ain't going to take that right now. We got a call. We always bother the customer. And what, what are you doing, sir? Yeah. What, what department are you in? Henry County. Okay, you're the sheriff's department? No, ma'am. Okay, what are you Police doing? department. Oh, police department. Okay, so police department. And what's your name? Is it Nail? Right. And what's your first name? Right. Matt. What's your ID number, sir? What? Your badge number. What, 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 what okay. I mean, what's going on with y'all here? I've just been peacefully recording, sir. I okay. didn't say a word to anybody until she said something to me. I'm working on it. I mean, that's person. how it was. We I'm working. Come over here. I'm working. Okay. Okay. No problem. Right. Can, I, can I show you something real quick? I'm working on the news. I'm working on the news story. This is their rules and regulations government posting, you know, basically the rules of the post office, right? And if you read right here, see it says photographs for news and uh, advertising. I'm obviously press. Just because you have a press pass doesn't make you press. And I'm sure that none of you could even pass the courses or even the ethics training required to be a member of the press because none of you have any ethics to begin with. Who are you with? I'm with myself, the free press. Free press? Okay. Yes, sir. So we're with the free press. This so. gentleman here with you, too? Uh, no, we're individuals, so. I thought we were going to jail. That's what I thought. Well, can y'all step outside so we can finish out what I did? Do you remember when uh, you were back in school, the whole class would get punished for what one or two individuals would do? Well, I certainly remember. I remember having to write a thousand paragraphs in one day because of a few individuals in class. I mean, and I did it. I managed to write a thousand paragraphs. But look at these two. They are the troublemakers that uh, end up getting the whole class punished. And now everybody's got to wait for the post office to reopen because of these two clowns. Many unbearable hours later. There's nothing, there's nothing that says y'all can't video report, okay? Right. However, a business does have the right to ask people to leave, though. Not a post office, okay. not a public building. So, well, it's privately owned, federally no, owned. It's government federally, building. but who owns it? So, who owns government. it? Uh, but who owns it's the a government? government who pays? But who funds the government? Well, I'm just, I'm just. Did, you, did you swear it under the U.S. To, Constitution? When it comes to so the statute let me, here in the city of McDonald's. Well, let me, ask you, this. well, let me ask you this. Well, let me ask you this. If I don't leave, will you arrest me for criminal trespass? I'm going to cite you for criminal trespass, and I'm going to still try to consider you or talk to you and get you off the property without having to go to jail. So, but at last, problem. So, you last, very, very 
Well, we under, well, under, well, under, well, under, well, under threat of arrest, I'll leave, but I'll take the citation. No, I'm not writing you anything. That's my discretion. I don't have to write you a citation. Oh, I'm you just, just advising you of the criminal trespass ordinance as I far as the prison, guess, business requesting you to leave. But did property. you know on public property you can't criminally trespass somebody unless they commit a crime? Oh, that's a load of bullshit, and you know it, Rusty Boy. I mean, uh, the thousands of videos that I've watched as far as frauditors getting trespassed because they were asked to leave and refused to do so and ended up getting charged, arrested, and everything like that. And them so many times I've had to look up trespassing laws for many individual states. I especially know that it is a load of bullshit to begin with. You're just trying to blow smoke up these cops' asses because you think that they don't know any better. Well, their job is having to deal with trespassing issues every freaking day. I'm sure they know you are full of it. Well, that's like with anything. With, with matter of fact, you're confusing private and public another, property, sir. No, that's like anything with a hotel. Even a hotel is a, a hotel's is private property. But if they ask me to leave, I have to leave. To right to this is public property. So okay. if you cite me, then you're setting up the city of McDonough for a big lawsuit. Well, no one ever said they were going to cite you. Well, you said yeah, you would cite me and try to get me to leave. That was the next question I was going to ask. Oh, you know, you asked, asked me about being yeah. placed under arrest, and yeah. I said to you, no, at that point, even at most, I would still attempt a citation. Because at last, last, any available option yeah. is taking somebody to jail. Because trust me, that's fine. Okay, well, public and private property are two different things. Because to trespass somebody from public property, they have to commit a crime. So if this was if this was the hotel, like you said, a Holiday Inn, and we wouldn't leave, then you can criminally trespass us right away. But this is without commission of a crime. But I'm since we're on public, I don't I don't care about your city ordinance. Whoa, come on, dumbass. You gotta get more smarter than that. You just can't announce to everybody that you don't care about one town's laws over another because that means you don't have any respect for the law as a whole. I mean, get with it, dude. You just done screwed up. You just let the cat out of the bag that you're probably not gonna follow anybody's laws. I don't care about it. It well, doesn't I mean, trump the federal it, law. It doesn't matter if you care yeah. or not. I'm explaining, I'm explaining it to you. That's yeah. all. But I have another question for you. You're not asking us to leave. I'm asking you on behalf of the business to leave the property. Oh, so yes. you did ask me to leave. Okay. So, what so you I'm solicited saying? a trespass from the post office. Because it's a business you can be trespassed. Did you just admit to soliciting a trespass from the from the post so office? Business to be it's a business requesting you to leave the property. They, they didn't tell us that. They need to come tell us that. He, the man that I talked to back there that allegedly called us and requested us to come out stated that he verbally asked you. But you can't make us leave public property without commission of a crime. Okay. Would you like to talk to anybody else? A supervisor. Do you have a lieutenant? I have a sergeant. Yeah. I'll yeah, bring a sergeant. Yeah. Everything that guy just says bullshit. Thank you. Well, first of all, show me where it says it's against the law for the officers to even solicitate a trespass or solicit a trespass. Second of all, did you ever hear of what the Tenth Amendment is all about? It grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and that trickles all the way down to the local government levels. Did you know that, uh... Uh, Rusty boy, did you know that at all? Did you ever study any civics? No? Well, then what are you doing here acting like you know everything? No, this, this is the gentleman right, right. here. And, um, wife, uh, associate. Associate, okay, associate. Uh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> Mrs. Oh, never mind, she's right there. Where's the, uh, post office? Hey, Management, back. come in here, I'll show you. There it is. No one's coming out from behind the uh, kind of over there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. No, nope. in my way. Still, stay down. Stay in my way. Do what, sir? I said you weren't in my way. I was getting out of your way. Can we get in line? Is or can you get in line? Uh, you can get in line if that's what you choose to do. Yes. However, they have shut down businesses right now. I do not know when it's going to reopen or how that's going to go. So if you're in uh, some quick like hurry, you might think about detour and going to another uh, post office. 
Well, like I mentioned earlier, the many get punished for what the few do. And if you two want to act like a bunch of jackasses, other people who actually have business in there have to suffer because of your stupidity. Way to go. Way to go. You are an asshole. Both of you. Both of you are assholes. Okay. Guys, just please, I just asked you. I didn't say the word to nobody. Yeah, I was I'm bothering reason. nobody. But at the moment, they're not gonna, they're not going yeah. to resume. They they close well, guys. well, your uh, your guys have been out here. They can tell. Have have I been pretty chill, pretty peaceful? Go ahead. I've been pretty chill and peaceful. I haven't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, though. That's cool. That, that's simple radio. And, uh, so as soon as y'all, uh, as soon as y'all mount up, yeah, the stage, yeah. and we'll um, be here for make one more round. Today. And well, there you have it, folks. I mean, the whole population of this area had to suffer with their BS because these two didn't care about the laws, and that is your typical First Amendment frauditor. So until next time, guys, I will see you on the next one.